This is a 67 years old female who has undergone aortic valve replacement in 2018 with a size 19 by a prosthetic aortic valve. She presented to our center with a severe aortic valve regurgitation. Procedure, redo sternotomy, annular enlargement with wide incision and rectangular batch, aortic valve replacement with size 25 by a prosthetic valve. The patient aortic valve replacement was performed last time via right anterior thoracotomy. So we performed a redo sternotomy using oscillating saw. Mediastinal dissection was carried out using an electrocautery. Cardiopulmonary bypass was initiated via central cannulation, retrograde cardioplegia catheter and left ventricular fan were installed. Cross clamp was applied and the heart was arrested in a retrograde fashion. Aortiotomy was performed and the aortic valve was exposed and inspected. The bioprosthetic aortic valve explantation was started by removing all the annular sutures. and the valve was easily explanted. The culprit lesion for AI was identified as shown. Further deprivement of the annulus was carried out to our satisfaction. In preparation for annular enlargement, the aortic root was dissected all the way to the dome of the left atrium. We then started our annular enlargement by extending the aortiotomy to the commissure between the nun and the left. And then we turn the incision to the left cusp to just before the left main. And in the non side, all the way till we reach the membrane septum. The distance of enlargement is measured. And then we use a dacron graft as a batch. appropriate size batch was determined and fashioned accordingly. The batch is then sutured to the annular enlargement area using a 4O proline sutures. The suturing is started and the left cusp side around the corner and then the batch is parachuted down. This is followed by running the suture line in the bottom of the enlargement all the way to the corner of the aorta and the annulus in the non-coronary side. Then the suture line is run all the way up to the edge of the aortiotomy in both sides. Careful attention to stretching 
the graft is required here to minimize any bleeding afterward. When this is done, valve sizing is done again. As illustrated, we can fit the size 25 valve very easily here. We placed the first commissural stitch and then we use a valve sizer to determine the location of the other two commissure after enlargement. A series of bladgeted horizontal mattress stitch is placed around the annulus starting with the left coronary cusp followed by the right coronary cusp. And then through the enlargement area from outside to inside of the patch. All these sutures were passed through the bioprosthetic aortic valve. The valve is slid and tied down in place. Careful attention is required to make sure that the valve is very well seated as we tie it down. The valve is then is inspected and the enlarged area is shown very clearly with the arrow here. The right and the left coronary arteries are patent. The batch is sutured to the remaining part of the aortic wall. And then we tailor it in a tear shaped fashion to complete the closure of the aortiotomy. A stitch is started from the other side of the aortiotomy to incorporate the batch into the aortiotomy closure as illustrated here from both sides of the batch. After de-airing, the cross clamp is removed. The patient is weaned from the cardiopulmonary bypass. Hemostasis is achieved. And routine chest closure is performed. Echo. Cardiography showed well-seated valve, no barovalvular leak with a mean gradient of 4 mm mercury. The patient was transferred to the intensive care unit, extubated in the same day, and he was discharged home in the fifth post-operative day.